Hello, and welcome to Reaching Dream Fulfillment. This is a very early edition of Reaching Dream Fulfillment, for this is a special video called My Morning Ritual, or it's also known as a morning routine. Why should you have a morning ritual or a morning routine? One of the main things that I have found that successful people have is a morning ritual or a morning routine that they follow every single day. Through time, your morning ritual or morning routine can change. What is a morning ritual or morning routine is geared towards success. So Warren Buffett and many other people that are very successful, entrepreneurs and business people have a morning ritual or morning routine that they follow every single day. Through time, it can change, and mine has changed. And my first uh, morning ritual was inspired by a YouTube channel known as Project Life Mastery. And if you follow that YouTube channel, you will see that through time, his morning ritual or morning routine, some aspects of it has changed. I used to have on all these walls a lot of inspirational things that were um, that I got inspired to to follow different quotes and different things for inspiration that I used to read every day on my walls, and I stopped doing that after a while, and I put a lot of that information into a journal that I have. Well, they have. Quotes, so a lot of the things that I have for inspiration are in here, and sometimes in the morning I will read these things, especially if I'm going through a difficult time or a challenging time. So the first main part, and I talked about this in another uh, video, was getting up early. And getting up early is the main part and the most successful part of my morning ritual. I go to work at 6 o'clock and hit the freeway, and it takes a while to get there. And what I do is I get up early, and I am not in a rush state. Because if I get up and go, oh, I got to get dressed, oh, I got to do this, oh, I got to eat something, and everything's in a rush, I carry that energy to work and brush my teeth and everything at the last second, and then... I go through the traffic, so I've already been rushed. Now I'm in a rush state, and I'm more in a nervous state and not at peace. And what happens is now I go through traffic, now I get more angry at the traffic than if I got up early, which I will a lot of times get up at three, four o'clock in the morning. And if you get up at 3 and you start at 6 in the morning, you can do other things and accomplish a lot in 3 hours. Whatever you want to do. You can uh, clean, the, clean the house. I prefer to get up early. And one of the first things I do is I'll take my medications. I found out as a diabetic that if I take my medications early, which I need to start doing a little better at right now, then I will have lower um, blood sugar throughout the day from the medications and supplements I take. If you are curious of these supplements and medications I take for diabetes, look at my diabetes uh, video, which is a two-part series where I show um, the medications well, and the supplements I take and regimens for diabetes and a sample diet from a restaurant that I uh, attend quite frequently, friends with the people, and the food is very good. So that is one of the main things, getting up early. And also, another thing that I will do frequently is I will read a couple of hours, and what I read is very geared towards my goals, and it has a theme, and right now the theme is strategy. And strategy is something that I cover quite extensively right now. Strategies of life for success in many different areas. And this is from the Robert Greene series. But I will not go into details of that at this time. So 
reading, and then after that, meditating. And you can meditate 20, 30 minutes. There are different kinds of meditation. I can go through that in another video, but at this time, I will say that my preferred thing for meditation after I read is, includes, <clears throat> meditating with YouTube. I put on, on my big screen TV, meditation from YouTube, and I pick the ocean. I pick uh, windstorms. I also pick rain and the fireplace. And what you do is you close your eyes and you can sit in like a uh, Indian style position or laying down or something like that and you focus on your breathing and you breathe and you listen to that in the background and it has a very calming soothing effect you try not to really think about anything in particular you focus on your breathing but if you do think about something in particular that is okay you don't get mad at yourself and what somebody told me when I went to a place and learned about meditation and like a meditation group is if your mind wanders to something else, just think of that thought being in a boat and watch it go downstream. So that's another thing that I do. But after that, so first you can start with getting up early. Then you can start with reading. This is just what I do and I'll read a couple of hours, then meditate. Then from that point, what you can do depending on the amount of time you have is I will then, there's two items that I have. One is called the five minute journal and this is from Alex Icon. And Alex Icon and Mimi Icon, um, they're both entrepreneurs and they came up with this as something to get you in the right mindset for the morning and I highly recommend it. If you buy it, that is fine. If you do not buy it, you can look online and see the pages and make your own version of this. So let me go to a blank page. Alright, here's a blank page. Now the white part is what you do in the morning and the dark part is what you do in the evening. So let's look at this. In the white part, when you wake up in the morning, you write down the date. You have an inspirational quote. In this case is from Pablo Picasso. I am always doing what I cannot do in order that I may learn how to do it. So no excuses. You can always learn what you need to learn. So first, at the first three lines over here, you write down what you are grateful for. Because no matter how hard things are going, if you're going through a very hard time, there's always some positive you can come up with. Just random, don't think hard about it. I could think about something that I'm a homeowner. I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that I'm breathing. I'm grateful I have a roof over my home. What would make today great? That could be geared towards some of the goals that you have or something like that. So that's giving you in a positive state, thinking of something that may go really right for you on that day. Daily affirmations. That is the last section for the day. So what you can do there is you can write down what you want to achieve way before you achieve it as if it has already happened. That is one thing that you could do for daily affirmations. So you could say, I am an, a famous astrophysicist that discovered whatever, or whatever comes into your head. So daily affirmations, write down things as if you have already accomplished your goals, or you can write down affirmations of things that you've already accomplished. Daily affirmations, I am no longer afraid of heights. Daily affirmations, I am assertive and fair or whatever. The last part is has to do with the evening before you go to bed. So three amazing things that happened today. 
the most beautiful girl talk to me, whatever it may be. So write down three amazing things or three positive things that happened that day that you weren't really counting on happening or something like that. So you do this every day. And then throughout here, randomly, they will have what they call a weekly challenge. One of them in here earlier was call a friend they haven't talked to in a long time. So you do this every day when you wake up. And then also from Alex Icon, there is something called the Productivity Planner. The Productivity Planner is made by the same people and the company is called Intelligent Change if you are interested in this. Okay, so let's go to Blank Week. All right, let's see. Okay, oops, that's not blank. This one, I almost need another new one. So it'll take me a little while to find a blank place. All right. Weekly planning, you write down the week and and then you write down the five most important tasks of the week. What are they? If these were the only tasks you completed during the week, you would be satisfied. Next, you write down tasks of secondary importance. Do these only after you've completed the above tasks. Then additional tasks, do these only after you complete the above tasks. And commitment, what one action you take to make this week more productive. So you think of something that you're always thinking about your productivity. So you write down one thing that would make the week more productive, maybe getting up earlier, um, may it be uh, staying away from somebody that's been, a family member that's been very negative and limiting them or whatever it may be you write that down there now you get to the nitty-gritty of it and the week every single day there's a form and it follows the same way the most important task of the day you write that down at the top and you do the most important thing because in life Things come up, emergencies come up, things take longer than you thought. And sometimes when you're trying to achieve a goal, what happens is that some of the other people you rely on, uh, unfortunately, are not as sometimes as committed as you. And you, they say they're going to do certain things and it doesn't happen. And it takes a while to get the right team behind you to achieve what you want. And when you find out somebody's not completely effective that you think you can rely on towards your goals and it just kind of just doesn't go anywhere then you have to drop and eliminate that idea or sometimes that person if they actually work for you next is the secondary task of importance so before i go into that write down the most important task of the day do it early because if you do the most important task in the day, if you can, before people wake up and there's distractions on your phone and what have you, and emergencies come up, then that thing is accomplished. And if these other things, uh, other agendas, unfortunately, sometimes will um, take precedence over what you're trying to achieve, and if you do not have that thing done, then you will be upset and go, I didn't accomplish anything today because all this other stuff happened. But if you do that and do that consistently, then it'll build. And also, if you get up really early, then you will accomplish more than most people because you are putting in more hours and it just also getting up early. Studies have shown that you will be, people are more creative. Then you put down the secondary tasks of importance. The completion of these tasks will make the day even better than additional tasks. And then the notes, extra space for future tasks. Now there is a system here 
that I don't presently use, but you may want to use, that for each one of these, see there's circles here. And you have like the name of a task here, and then with the circles, the 25 minute periods, or you can split it up any way you want, and you estimate how long it will take you. So each circle could represent a different amount of time, hours, or minutes, or half hours, 25 minutes, whatever you come up with. You estimate how much time it'll take, and then you put down the actual number, like three of these circles represent three hours to accomplish a certain task. But the main thing here is getting, um, writing down what you want to accomplish, because also studies have shown that what is written down does get accomplished. All right, now after that, you, at that point, could want to, uh, a good idea is to exercise to get the energy that you need for the day to accomplish what you want. So uh, I have a mini trampoline. I may jump on that. You can watch me jump on it during the diabetic uh, also uh, regimen uh, video and also lifting weights. And then you may want to go for a run or a walk or go to a health club. And that's one of my goals is uh, next week is joining a health club. Uh, somebody that works for me uh, recommended one that's only $10 a month. And that will help my diabetes regimen and hopefully accomplish lower numbers for that. So exercise is very important. And then from there, then I would after you go through those things, I would start hitting the main thing that you want to do for that day, whatever the main goal is that you're trying to accomplish. It is best to uh, tr focus on one uh, major aspect of what you're trying to accomplish at once, one main goal at once. I am trying to create the three forms of income, new forms of income, I'm getting close on one of them and another one I have to alter and um, I'm going to speak to somebody today to um, another experiment to try to accomplish that before I revamp it and that one has proven to be a difficult goal but I will accomplish it. So having said that, make sure that no matter how focused you are that you do indeed uh, have some time to, for relations with other people, may it be friends, a girlfriend, or whatever. Uh, today I'm going with a group, uh, somebody that I'm renting a room to, and uh, so, some people he knows, and some other people from the restaurant that I frequent will be going as a group to Universal Studios Tour. I haven't been there in a long time, so that will be very uh, interesting, and since I haven't been there, and I've only been there once, it'll be like uh, a whole different experience, like I've never been there before. So have a morning ritual, have a morning routine. Um, make sure that um, you drink water when you wake up. That is a very good thing. And make sure that you exercise in the morning is also a good thing. So all the things that I mentioned, what your morning ritual is, may be different for each person, depending on their goals, depending on what they want to accomplish, depending on what your focus is during that time. You may experiment and change your morning ritual through time, which is fine. This should not be a very strict thing. Strict in the respect that you do do something, a routine for success. I just gave an example, kind of what mine is. If you're very interested in this, you can go to Project Life Mastery. He has a course on this and he gives uh, his idea. But do not think that whatever morning ritual you see, you have to follow it exactly. Follow something that fits you. Do something consistently for success. But my main hint is get up early. That is the biggest game changer for a morning ritual and writing down what you want to accomplish. It's really not that complicated. 
but it is very essential. And this is one of the main points that you will see that successful people do follow. And I have been following it. And I have been, since I've been getting up early and having a morning ritual, I've accomplished a lot more each day, each month, each year. And I will get somewhere. Thank you. If you liked the video you just saw, please subscribe. Click on the subscribe button or the and the bell right next to it. Also, you can give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down or leave a comment. Thank you.